Hi everybody, I'm Essence and I want to thank you all for watching my first video on my spiritual path and I'm here just to do an update on some of the things that I've learned and that I've been working on. One of the things that has been very helpful was the discovery that I can choose whether I want to be happy or sad or choose my response to a given situation. A lot of times, you know, when you're faced with a situation, however you feel in that, in that moment, whatever emotions come up, you think that that's what you have to go with and that isn't true. Um, for instance, I, when I wake up some mornings and I want to stay in the bed, I just, I instantly have an attitude. But now I know I'm up. Thank you God for waking me up this morning. I choose to be happy and my day goes another in, you know, in a better direction. Um, just a couple days ago, um, my ink ran out on my computer. I had to go print out some inventory sheets and so I went to um, this place up the street to print out one page, 69 cents for a copy, and I ended up um, I only needed to print one page and I ended up printing I think about 12 color pages anyway it equaled out to be about nine dollars and I was just so upset because it's nine dollars just gone to waste I didn't need any of those other papers I just needed one I'm like that nine dollars <laughs> could have been extra in my gas tank like I was heated for about two minutes then I said it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon I could let this ruin the rest of my day or the next couple hours or I could get it together and I just said I mean there's nothing I can do about it you know why scream and cry let it go and I let it go and I forgot all about it and then the next day I had to pick up my friend from the airport and she filled up my gas tank like so that was just really cool to see like how I you know I was upset then I decided to let it go and that nine dollars I was worried about putting in the gas tank I ended up getting a whole full tank of gas <laughs> so that was pretty cool um, another thing the other day I have been I've been having really bad headaches and um, back aches just it's a wonder that I've been pushing through and I finally went to the chiropractor and I got x-rays and I found out that I lost the natural curve in my neck and that my spine is tilted so that's why I've been in so much pain these last few months and you know I've started to get you know kind of depressed about it but then I decided you know what this happened you know let's just correct it I'm not gonna whine and cry and complain about the pain that I'm in I just I just push on nobody really knows how much pain I'm actually in but I still just do everything that I need to do you know and I max myself out until I just can't possibly take it anymore and it's usually around the time that it's time you know to quit for the day so that the old me would have just been whining and crying and calling everybody you know I knew to complain about how much you know pain that I'm in but I just choose not to think about it and I choose to say well I'm happy that I found out what was wrong with me now we can you know go forward with adjustments and me working on my posture so you know choosing how I respond and choosing whether to be you know situations to be happy or sad is making a big difference in my life um, another thing is I was watching um, this guy Brian Johnson on YouTube he does uh, philosophers notes and in one of the books he was reviewing he said he asked the question what is the number one thing that you could start doing today that would have the biggest impact on your life and I was like wow okay what is it and for me it was waking up earlier I have had problems with waking up early for years and then so I'll sleep in to anywhere from 10 to 12 and the whole rest of the day I'm beating myself up about you could have had this done you could have did this it's almost three o'clock and you're just doing this all day every day I beat myself up about you know my timing 
So I just decided that's the one thing that I'm going to change. I'm going to start getting up at 8 o'clock. No hitting the snooze button. I just do it. And it's, it's been working and I've created a daily ritual around it, which is just getting up at 8 o'clock. As soon as my alarm goes off, I get up. <laughs> I'll do 10 jumping jacks. And then uh, I get dressed to go work out and I go through my neighborhood for about 20 to 30 minutes. Then I come in, shower, meditate, eat breakfast. Then I start on whatever it is that I have to do for the day. And it's just making a big difference in my life. So thank you for watching. And one of the things I think that um, is very helpful and that you should try to is asking yourself two questions. What is it that I can change today that will have the biggest impact on my life? And the other question is, what should you stop doing that would have the biggest impacts on your life? And mine was sleeping in for both questions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.